Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my January 2020 book haul. Um, I've had a few books in the post. If my camera jiggles, it's because I'm holding it freestyle. And there's a cat here. What are you doing, Biggie? What are you doing? So today in the post, I got this, which is The Rose That Grew From Concrete by Tupac Shakur. I've started reading it. I was going to do a review, but it's not very good, so I'm not going to. Um, and then, where's the other one I got? I also got this in the post. This of all things, Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. The only problem is, is I bought this specifically because it was listed as a copy of Romeo et Juliet, uh, the French translation. And this is not the French translation, this is just an English copy of it, which I already have. So I need to, you know, message them, follow that up. Yo, uh, another little micro haul, I guess. I think I need to haul this, which is Snowpiercer Volume 3 Terminus by Bokeh and Rochette. I've actually already read this as well. It was very good, uh, so I need to need to mention that. And this is Anne Frank's Diary of a Young Girl. So I actually have already read this in the past, um, and yeah, I just needed to replace it because for some reason I only had um, um, a, a, what do you call it, um, an abridged version of it. Yo, I have some books. Um, so this came in the post. This is Beyond a Million by Jim Do, the Entrepreneur's Playbook for Expanding Wealth, Freedom, and Time. And uh, this is just another one of those non-fiction books that I get paid to re like read and do spark notes style summaries of. Um, this one doesn't look too long as well, so that's always good. So yeah, I got that. And then I got this in the post as well. And I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I believe this is a recommendation by uh, from Mara from Books Like Woe. Yes. Oh, it's not, it's not the cool cover though. I like the other cover more, but this one's still pretty good. Uh, Emily Nagoski, come as you are, the surprising new science that will transform your sex life. And basically Mara said that um, this is like a must read for anybody who uh, either has a vagina or has sex with people who have a vagina. Which covers a big chunk, I would say, of the population. I mean, I guess it, that only excludes like asexual people and gay men. So probably like what? 85-90% of the population should read this, I guess. So yeah, sounds interesting. Uh, I've had something in the post, and I'm super excited about this because I've had a really crappy day. And this is something that I've been looking forward to for ages. Uh, it's from it's from Alan. And um, yeah, he said he was going to make this for me for a while. I've actually stopped wearing the necklace that I had. I did have a necklace around here, which was like a red arrowhead thing. Um, and it wasn't a particularly good quality one or whatever. But Alan said he was going to make me something, and oh my goodness, what has he sent me? Got a note. Dear Dane, sorry to be so late in this, but my life got exciting, to say the least. I'm in an intense outpatient rehab program, and this is the first time I've been able to get to a PO in months. Uh, all's good, though. Thanks for your friendship, and right on. Uh, what does that say at the bottom? I can't read this bottom bit. Something, mate. Postscript. Here's some beard oil and balm. Use a few drops of oil first in your palm, spread throughout beard slash skin, then use a guitar pick and get some balm. Uh, rub betwixt palms, rub onto beard, and comb through. Use my coupon code to get a free sample. Uh, there's a reference code here from badassbeardcare.com. Cool. Another little thingy on the end of a school thing. Look. Uh, I'm not sure specifically what stone this is. Let me put that in front of my face. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. And then on this big old thing here. And then I've got this loop here, I guess, is so that I can extend it if I need to. But that's already pretty massive. So, how do I... How do I even tie, bro? I don't know how this works. Well, I'm not entirely sure how this is done. But I guess it's something like that. And then I can... Wear it under there like that, and then I've got my my uh, lucky thing. So yes, thank you, Alan. Thanks for sending this. It's been a really not the best day, to be honest. Um, so it's been nice to have something so thoughtful, you know? I think Alan made this himself. This beard balm is very cute as well. Uh, there is, I, where, where's the flyer gone? Welcome to the badass family. Thank you for your support. We pride ourselves on the quality of our products and our customer service. If there's anything we can do to improve your experience, let us know. Uh, over 40,000 reviews, uh, 8446 badass, veteran owned business. I'm looking forward to putting this on and seeing how it makes my beard feel. 
So yeah, thank you, Alan. Uh, again, it's um, just what I needed today. Just sort of helped pick me up a little bit. So much, much appreciated, dude. And hope all is going well with you. Hello. Um, I have got some books to haul from you that I got while I was in Tamworth. I'm a, I... That's a bit better. I apologise for the crappy filming. I don't know where my uh, my camera is, so I'm filming on my phone. Uh, what did I get? Okay. So first up we have William Shakespeare, The Comedy of Errors. I've actually already read this. I read this in the bath while I was staying at my mum's. And uh, yeah, pretty enjoyable read. So I have Measure for Measure by William Shakespeare. This is my current read. Uh, I think I got, yeah, I got this from The Works, whereas the other one was from a charity shop. But yeah, I think two pounds. Uh, but I think I, did, I think they ended up only charging me 20p as well, so that's always nice. Uh, and then we have this little stack here. What else have I got here? Let me see, I can group some of these together. All right, well first up, the one you're probably gonna be most interested in, this is Desperation. Is it Desperation and The Regulators? No, it was just published published simultaneously. There, there, there. Have I read The Regulators? I don't know. Anyway, Desperation by Stephen King. I definitely haven't read this one. It's a bit of a chunky hardback. Uh, I could have done with this book when I went, actually, because I tend to read the Stephen King book that I have. Well, I, re I take the longest unread book that I own with me back when I go home. And, of course, it's usually Stephen King because of that. Uh, then I also picked up The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Um, I recently read The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and obviously this goes along with it so I thought might as well pick that up too and then tick that off and I've also already read The Prince and the Pauper which is another Mark Twain so uh, yeah I've been, I've been doing, doing alright with Mark Twain I guess. Then we have A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Lengel. I've uh, you know heard about this because they made the movie and stuff recently. Uh, in fact it does say now a major motion picture. But from what I understand, the movie wasn't very good, but the original story is quite good, although not everybody likes it. And then I picked up three Susan Hill books. So I picked up The Small Hand, A Ghost Story, The Man in the Picture, A Ghost Story, and I'm the King of the Castle, which let's have a look on the back. I don't think this one is a ghost story, but it might also be a ghost story, who knows. But um, yeah, I've enjoyed the two Susan Hill books that I've read. She does like, this really interesting mix of both historical fiction and, uh, you know, horror, I guess. And there aren't many writers out there who do that, and especially who do it well. And funnily enough, it's a style that I'm going for with this short story that I've been writing recently. So uh, hopefully I can learn from, learn from Susie. Well, anyway, that's what I got is... Well, anyway, that's what I got in my January book haul. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.